friends, Michelle here again, back at the table to show you another way that you can make some additional income on the side. So the last time I was on the channel, I showed you all how you can make a low content journal. And we had such great feedback on that journal. A lot of you guys were super thankful and excited about it. However, we did get some feedback as well saying that you guys thought that maybe it was a little oversaturated. And we definitely took your feedback to heart. With that being said, we went ahead and reached over to our friends back at BookBolt to see how we can help you maybe make a different kind of journal that has a lot less competition. So the reason why I'm here is because I'm gonna be showing you all how to make a medium content journal. Now you might be saying to yourself, okay, Michelle, what's the difference between a low content journal and a medium content journal? Well, it's actually right in the name. The medium content journal actually has a lot more activity going on in the middle of the journal, unlike the low content journal, which we made before, which was just a regular journal, just had blank lines. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do so. But today's video, I just wanna just give you a heads up. It's gonna be a lot shorter than our previous video, just because I already went ahead and walk you through the step-by-step -step of how to make it and it's essentially the same. So I'm gonna make sure to link that video in the description box below, as well as at the end of the video, you'll be able to quickly just click on it. And we might actually have a little bit of snippets here and there within this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my laptop so you can see. So very first things first, you're gonna go ahead and sign into bookbolt.com. So that's on my screen here. And what I wanna do differently than I did before is I wanna do some research to show you, right? To show you um, how you can choose the best journal for, um, the best activity book rather. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the cloud. And the cloud essentially is gonna let you know what is doing well on um, Amazon. Remember, you're putting these books on Amazon. So we're gonna just do, let's just do what top 200 and instead of notebook like we did last time, we are going to click on activity book and we're gonna press search. Okay, so here's gonna show you the different activities that are doing pretty well on um, Amazon. So we have different mazes, we have an activity puzzle, children books. Um, these are just the different ones as you can see. Um, one of the things that was said last time and I brought up was that, you know, it's oversaturated, a lot of people are doing this. Well, with the activity books, a lot less people are doing this. You can even see this one right here. It's a very, you know, colorful name. However, they just started this in 2023, January 2023, and they are estimating about 464 books um, every single month being sold and they're selling it at $7.75. So as you can see, some people have started just this year or just last year. Now, so we are going to go ahead and, you know, do our different researches. And I wanna try to find a book that, hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go to Amazon. Amazon.com and I'm gonna look for a activity book for adults because that's the thing these days right and actually activity books for we're gonna do activity book for senior citizens because you know our senior citizens we got to keep their minds going and flowing etc so here's one that's very popular I'll click on this one So this activity book for senior citizens is being sold for $13, $13.31 is how much you're selling for. So one thing you wanna really pay attention to is you wanna take pay attention to the dimension, which is right here. And you also wanna pay attention to um, how many pages that they've done. So the dimensions is 8.5 times 11, well 0 0.4 times 11, and then you also have 170 pages. What's really great also about the medium content books is that they give you an ISBN number. That's very different actually from the low content journals. Because the low content journals, you don't necessarily get an ISBN number. What makes that important is because you can actually click up here and you can get a sneak peek inside. So basically when different people are shopping online for your journals, they'll actually get a different, a little bit of a sneak peek inside of your journal to see what it is that they can look forward to having, that way they can know whether or not they wanna go ahead and purchase your book. So that's a lot different than the previous low content journals that we were making before. 
And then of course, you know, the different reviews, etc. So let's hop back over to um, the BookBolt website and then we're gonna go over to keywords, similarly to what we did before. So we also wanna click on keywords to see what is doing well. So based off of um, this, you have memory games for seniors. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and bring it over to BookBolt. There you go, search. And we're gonna search up this keyword. So here with the keywords, this will also show you what people are searching on, not only Amazon, but also on Google. That way you would know how to also just title your, um, your memory book, your activity book, your planner, et cetera. So here are some of the ones that are being, so bingo games for senior, brain games for seniors. Um, cognitive games for seniors. So here are the things, dementia games for seniors. So these are just the different games that people are looking up for senior citizens. Or even, for example, you can say memory games for kids. When you search those keywords, alphabet memory games for seniors. So this will just give you an idea of the different things that people are looking up online. So that way when you go and create your own content book, you kind of have an idea of what it is exactly that people are looking for. So we're just gonna go ahead and just make a short little memory game book here right now on BookBolt, just so you can have a little bit of a memory or a reminder rather of how you can go ahead and do so, so you can create your own. But like I said, I'm going to be sure to link the previous video in the description box below so you can really have that one-on-one -on -one outlook of how to go ahead and create that. Okay, so you're gonna head over to the BookBolt Studio and you're gonna create a new project. So. The BookBolt Studio, by the way, is the same login as your username and password once you go into bookbolt.com. So it's just gonna take you to another link. You're gonna put your username and your password, your password, and it's gonna bring you back to, it's gonna bring you to the BookBolt Studio. Essentially what that is is where we're gonna create our journal or our activity book. I also wanna give you guys a little bit of a heads up or an ideal rather. So it's actually the back to school school year right now, back to school time right now. So this is a time where people are going back to school. So an idea of something you can create if you didn't want to create an activity book will possibly be a um, planner. A planner is also considered a medium content notebook because there's actually more activities going on in the inside. So it's something that you can think of. And like I said, going through the keywords um, on the BookBolt site where you can look up the different words that people are looking up. That way your planner would be one of the ones that come ahead. So that's an idea of something you can do as well. But we're gonna be here, we're at the BookBolt studio. I went ahead and um, created ahead of time, but I went ahead and clicked on the paperback book. Um, I did 8.5 times 11, because remember that's the size that we're seeing on most of the activity books that's happening. And I just went ahead and did 50 pages for my activity book, but you can always do more or less. So here I'm gonna find a design for my cover. As you can see, this is actually my previous design when I made the other journal, but we're gonna come over to um, the Pixabay. Pixabay is a copyright free gallery here in BookBolt that you can use to put on your um, activity book. So I'm going to look for um, kids. We said we're making the senior citizen book. <laughs> Not nothing was found. See your citizens. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of very fun images. I'm gonna pick him for the front of my book. Just because he's an older guy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on text. And then I'm just going to write activity book oops, for seniors perfect activity book for seniors we're gonna go ahead and center it maybe we'll make him a little bit smaller okay and just as a quick reminder 
the um, you're going to want to keep everything within the green perforated line. So let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see, because this is going to be the perfect sizing for Amazon. Remember, Amazon has um, specific sizings that you have to follow. So you're going to want to go ahead and keep it um, within that line frame. I think I'll make the back uh, black. There we go. Okay. And finally, I just want to show you again how to get the different activities within your book. So you're going to go ahead and click on the next page and you're going to click on this gridded looking area. And this is where the different activity options are. So a question that I would think would be asked is, okay, like, are the different activities like puzzles, crossword puzzles, and those different things, are they all just going to be the same? No, BookBowl actually went ahead and created a way where all the different activities are not the same, and they also give you the answer key that you can include in your book as well. So if someone may be having a hard time or if they want to check their answers, they can always have that as well. So we are going to look for, um, look, word puzzle. So here's a word puzzle here. And we can click on, maybe I'll do the first five pages, word puzzle. I'm gonna press next. And then, so you see where it says solution. So since I made the first five pages, pages the word puzzle, the next five pages are going to be the solution for the word, word puzzle. So that way, you know, people can go back and check their answers, like I said. So I'm gonna press submit. And like I said, so there's one there. The second page is this, the third page is this, nothing, no two pages, no two pages are the same. Every single page in the activity book is going to be different. So you would just do that same thing. So I'm, I'm actually gonna do one more just so you all can see. I'm gonna click on this page. I'm gonna click on, let's see. Um, this is fun, this like circular maze. So I'll click on a circular maze and I'll make the next five pages a circle of maze. I press next, press next here again. The next five pages are gonna be the solution or you can make the solution at the end of the, at the, end of the um, activity book, whatever you would want it to be. You would press submit and again, so here, and then the next five pages, they will all be different mazes. Similarly to the last one, you do this throughout the entire book. Similarly to the last one, you go ahead and click on download. You download the RGB version that will give you a copy of it will go straight to your desktop it will give you a copy of the front of the notebook and then the interior of the activity book I keep calling it a notebook it's actually an activity book and you just upload it on Amazon like I said we gave you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can go ahead and upload all this information over to Amazon verbatim. It's gonna be linked in the description box below. And some of the great things about a medium content book is essentially that there's less competition, there are higher prices. So before, you know, the one that I showed you was selling for about $13. And well, this one is showing selling for about $13 as before the other content books were the low content journals were selling for about $5. So you have a higher margin. And also I wanna to suggest to you as well, when I was speaking to the Book Bowl team, they suggest looking for different um, medium content books that have at least a thousand or less competition for searches. Cause that way, if there's less people searching for, not necessarily less people, but there's less competition of people making them, then yours will come up to the top. So you have the activity books that can be a medium content journal that you can do. You can do a planner that's a medium content journal. You can also do a coloring book. Bookbook also gives you the option to create coloring books. Medium content, like I said, just meaning that there's more content in the inside rather than just blank pages. So that is pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I know it's going to be helpful. Leave in the comments section below some other ideas you'd possibly like us to do that can help put some extra money and extra dollars in your pocket we really enjoy i really enjoyed having you all on the show today with me and i will talk to you guys later bye